napakagandang umaga. What's the best way to start the day? Then by being in one more fashionable boutiques here in Quezon City. We are once again in fashion art. But again, it's not about clothes and accessories only. They also have this cute little stuffed toys called Morby Dolls. Let's go talk to their designer and maker, Miss Ish Orenline. Hi Ish, thank you very much for being with us this morning. Thank you for inviting me. Okay Ish, napaka ibang klaseng concept nitong mga, in fact, title pa lang Morby Dolls, parang Morbid Dolls. Why is that? Kasi um, I grew up kind of like a weird child. So she doesn't look it. Look at her, she's gorgeous. <laughs> so parang I, I had toys that I couldn't relate to. So I wanted to make toys that kids who are a little different can relate to. So I came up with the concept of Barbie doll. So you didn't like Barbie, you didn't like Lego, you didn't like, I mean, none of those. So I love Barbie, but okay. I couldn't relate to it because I'm not tall and I'm not blonde. So I needed to have something that was a little more like me, a little weirder. <laughs> no, I, I don't like you saying the word weird because that means weird can be a good thing. Right. It's a good thing. Okay, obviously unique. So, concept for these more people. They're little stuffed toys. You, you stuff them with, what is cotton? Cotton. But they're soft. Cotton. And then how do you design them? Because they're very, very fashionable, these more people. Yeah. They may be weird, but they have a great sense of fashion. Well, my background is clothing. folklore, the Mananangkal, but they call it Mananang Dolls. And then I have, I have Capres, but I don't think I brought any with me today. So, so, so I think we have Mananangkal here. I want to show it. It's so, okay, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's, it's, it's like, yeah, so, okay, I don't want to tear it apart, but it's so cute. And you have Capre. Are you sure you're Capre? Capre is just, my itim na doll. <laughs> Pwede ba mga kapre? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and I also have, if I'm not mistaken, talaga the Afro dolls. You have also blonde dolls, so much for um, cheeky dolls. They're for the boys. And then I also make stuff I Yes, and these are also made out of fun. Mm -hmm. And these bats, what about these bats? Tell me more about them. These are heartbreak bats, because not everyone, yeah. yeah. Not everyone, they have wings, that's why they look like bats, but they're really cats. And they're heartbroken because during Valentine's Day, not everyone among has a date. So for the people who don't have a date, or people who don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, this is the perfect gift. Okay. <laughs> okay, and you know what? It's so fascinating to me how you made a business out of something like, you said that you can hardly relate to things or to the other dolls during kids. So I would assume you're one of the lonely children, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Anti-social children. Yes. Anti-social then. And then here you go, you also make a business out of giving heartbroken. So, you know what? That's a great example to be. Now, you may be lonely and heartbroken, but look, you earn a lot of money. Yeah, and you have a lot of people that can relate to it. So you discover that you're not alone. You're not alone in being strange, and you're not alone in being sad or heartbroken. But from the way you and I have been making chic already th this past couple of minutes, it really doesn't strike me that you're an anti-social girl. You're so beautiful, you're so fashionable, you're so chica, you're so game. Thank you, and you're so charming. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I'm going to No, but seriously, okay, you obviously have it. You've consigned here at the Fashion Art. How much do these Morby dolls go for? These are 350 So. Chains that you can, you know, attach to either attach them to your jeans, or you can attach them to your yes, you can attach them to your school bags, or you can attach them to your to your shirt like this. Do you you can put them anywhere? Do you also like uh, ship this off anywhere else, like any other stores? Yes, we ship them to Guam, to Hong Kong, and we have other stores in Manila. And how long have you been around the doll making business? Just two years. 
Two years and you're already exporting. You're fabulous-ish. Absolutely fabulous. More power to you. And of course, we can expect more of these Morbi dolls. Who knows? Next thing you know, they'll take over Barbie. I hope so. <laughs> but it's only been two years. You never know what will happen in ten years. But thank you very, very much. And again, would you like to invite our viewers to go pick up a Morbi doll of their own? Yes. Please come to the Fashion Art with E because the Morbi dolls are here and we have a lot of our selection here. So we would like you to see all the cute different dolls that we have. Thank you very, very much, Ish. I'm going to pick one of my own. I like the Manananggal. Man man Manananggal, I mean. But in the meantime, while I'm playing around with these dolls, Pia, I believe, is up to something in Antipolo. Let's go see what he is up to. Mm -hmm. 